So Lee, first of all, cracking game, cracking performance. Frustrating not to come away with a win or even a point there because of how competitive and dominant we were at times. What's your take on it? Hard to take. <clears throat> Just feel like a sucker punched again. Just back to Saturday all over again. We can't ask for any more from the lads. You've just watched the game yourself, Sean. You know how much we've just dominated them in the second half. The, I didn't see one shot on target in this whole second half until till they scored. And yet in the five minutes leading up to their goal, we've missed three or four golden opportunities again. Absolutely golden opportunities. We can't ask for any more from the lads. We just said to them now, we've just got to keep going. We've just got to keep digging in and the results will turn. You, you, when you dominate teams with the quality that West Didsbury have got, and then you go back to Saturday at half time, the game should have been finished. We're just not putting our chances away, it's as simple as that. And until we do, unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep digging, working hard, sticking together, being positive all the time. Um, but proud of the players tonight for everything they've given. As you can probably, well, as the fans will see from the, the Twitter feed, obviously a superb goal from Luke Moore. And I think as a bit of an understatement, it was a, probably a goal of a season contender already. But how good was his performance in terms of that's what we need from him every game now? But at the level he was today, not just in terms of his goal scoring, but his hold up play and his link up play, I thought he was superb today. I think he's been a warrior for the past six or seven games for us up front, fighting for every ball, giving the other team things to think about. Um, for me, he doesn't score enough goals for the quality that he actually possesses. But when you see that goal, anyone who gets the opportunity to see the footage from that that is the greatest goal I've ever seen and I think every single person in that ground tonight will leave and say that's the best goal I've ever seen their bench actually came up and said it's the best goal I've ever seen it was sensational and to be honest just a goal alone you deserve something out of the game for that alone and um, heartbreaking we've come away with nothing I feel sorry for Luke it deserves Absolutely. to be the winner of any game of football and also a special mention to 18-year-old uh, and 17-year-old Carl Watson and uh, Tien and Garvey in centre mid, obviously getting chucked into a game like this, midweek away game against a team who are very competitive. How did, how did they perform today? They were both phenomenal. Kyle was an absolute warrior in there. Tien and... <laughs> <laughs> Is that the lights going out on me? Is that me just getting a message? Just, just carry on and then <laughs> we'll put it Is that me getting anyway. a message? Um, Tien and was absolutely phenomenal. What a player. Ability, desire, he nicked that many balls, won the ball back for us, he keeps the ball, he's in the middle of all the action, he doesn't care, he played with no fear, absolutely sensational, that kid has got some career ahead of him, and Kyle, fantastic, um, deserves everything he gets now going forward, and you know, he probably deserves to stay in the team really with performances like that, he was fantastic last Tuesday night um, when we beat Bursko, and he was even better tonight. So what's the message to the lads for Saturday, is it more of the, more of the same, and more positives? Uh, it would be if we were playing Saturday. It's actually Sunday the game, so um, the game for the message for Sunday is more of the same. We've just got to keep playing. We are going to turn soon. I'm convinced of it, and we're going to give someone a hammer because the amount of chances we've created and missed tonight, and the way we've played, how rugged we were, how much we fought for each other. Um, the lads are, are fighting hard, and that's all we can ask of them. And like I said, if we can carry on doing it, it could be Sunday, might be the game after. We've just got to keep believing in ourselves, and when it turns, I'm convinced it'll turn big. All the best for the weekend, Lee. Appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers, Lee.